morning everybody welcome back my name is sandra and today we are going to go through my planner and plan for the very last week of march i personally cannot believe we are here already um this is going to be my birthday weekend planning as well and yeah i just i can't believe it's already the end of march like time is just flying so i'm going to go to my task card I keep this in my second tab, which is for my schedule, and we'll go to the week. So next week is going to be really busy. You'll see when we get to my work planner, um, I will be doing lots and lots of video filming, and we'll talk about the days as we review the week, and I'll explain what I've done. Okay, so again, first up, review week. So we'll go to the dailies, and I always refer, review uh, from the, the last time I planned, which is a Thursday. So we're going to page back to Thursday. Okay, so I've been really utilizing my note page side because uh, I've had lots of lots of notes to take this past week too. So Thursday, I did, I think I did pretty good. I edited all of the videos. Well, no, I didn't. I edited my plan with me. Uh, I was supposed to do my goals and I never got to it. Um, I also was supposed to clean my birdcage. There was actually quite a few things I wanted to do. Again, personal development and spiritual, I struggled with. Um, I wanted to do it and I just never did. And this was me practicing my new brush pens. That video is out. It is the Right Tech brush pen. They're small brush pens like Tombow or Pentel. So I will link the video if you guys want to check it out. Um, they've actually got a really good color selection if that's what you're looking for or you want to get into hand lettering check those pens out. They're only available on the amazon.com site for us, not for Canada, um, but you can get them shipped to Canada. Okay. So, um, I also went to karaoke that night. I met up with a friend there. It was interesting to say the least. Friday, I always see is a lot of crossed off items here. Um, but I actually did lots of extra tidbits here. So I, I did get the goal video edited. I, um, cleaned the bird cage. That was one thing I wanted to get done. And I, I, there's a whole bunch of videos like I've been trying to catch up on, like over, you know, the course of the last couple months, I feel like I'm always trying to catch up. Um, I filmed my brush pen video. There's, there's a handful of things that I did. Again, I also went to karaoke and did not mark it on here. So I'll put that. Okay, and then I did not have a barbecue, and we didn't buy the barbecue that day. Um, a whole bunch of information um, for my son and music and stuff that I was looking at. Saturday, I really didn't get done a whole lot. I didn't even transfer my tasks over, so I know anything that has like an empty little spot, I didn't get it done. I didn't transfer it either. Um, but I was very minimal work on Saturday. And we also went... This is, we had, we actually had a phone call with our mutual fund representative and we didn't go swimming. That was canceled. We didn't even like think about it because we were just, we were just so tired, but we did go to karaoke again. This time Chad came with me and the thing that sucked was they played the hockey game until 11. So it was interesting because it was his one night out in two weeks and he didn't get that much karaoke. They had the hockey game and well, generally he likes watching the hockey game. It's just, we were there for a purpose and he didn't get to sing very much. So that, that kind of bummed him out. Okay. So Sunday, I think this is the day that we found out Connor got pink eye. So let's see. And actually, he got it starting Saturday night. Because he was trying to tell my mom that his eyes were itchy. And then she was like, oh, don't worry about it. Just leave it be. So Sunday, she went and picked up drops for me. I think that's what happened. I can't remember what day he stayed over at her house. But Saturday, she stayed over at our place to watch the kids while we went to karaoke. So Sunday, we woke up and my mom was here. And I think he went back to her house with her that day. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, Sunday I did a few more things, but nothing like a huge catch up. Um, just, you know, just regular Sunday stuff. I just relaxed. I watched a few videos. 
Okay, and then Monday, Monday I didn't do too bad. Um, I watched Jane's Agenda Masterclass. So if you guys don't know about this, I did write a blog. It's not posting till May. But Jane is going to be doing a Master Plan 365. So it's a whole year long course. It's completely free. She will provide inserts to go along with the course. Those you do have to pay for. She's going to have a reading list, a book club, a Zoom call, all the things. And we're going to talk about planning and goal setting and productivity. And it's going to be really exciting. Um, so if you want to join there, go to the Facebook group face, uh, through for Jane's agenda or join her YouTube channel and she'll talk more about it on Monday. So it's very exciting. Um, and I think that's going to help me with my professional development. Like every single time you see that I keep pushing it over. This day I crossed it off though because I did this. So I took notes and I set up a section in my planner under my reference section for now. I, I do have another spot to start doing the... Um, I printed out the, the homework is what she calls it. So every week you'll get homework and then you can do what you want. And then I just made some handwritten notes here on that. So just right here. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to have that in my planner and hopefully my planner won't be too bulky at the end of that. Um, so yeah, I wanted to edit a whole bunch of, I had three makeup videos from Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So that was good. So I've kind of caught up. Um, I finally did edit them, but not, not Monday. <laughs> um, I had to mail a letter. Of course, I had to keep my son home. So he stayed, I called the school and yeah, and it, it was hard. It's hard when my kids are home. Um, like all of them, right? I can't really focus as easily. Tuesday, I did really, really well. The only thing I didn't get to was my closet organization, but everything else I finished. And there was a lot of work. So I had to run a few errands. Um, this was a blog writing day, so I got that done. And I talked about the masterclass Monday for Jane's Agenda. And I edited all of my makeup videos. And I actually worked on personal development and spirituality stuff. Like it was, it was a really good day. Okay, and then that was brings us to yesterday. So I didn't get the downstairs bathroom cleaned. I didn't get my closet organized. I was going to consolidate my post-its. I've got like a handful here that I didn't realize were building up and I just put them all around my desk. So I'm, I collected them all and I have to consolidate them. So whether that means putting them in the inbox, like, and I'm talking about like rewriting the information to where it needs to go because like, I don't mind one or two on my desk area to remind me of what I need to do. But then when I start building them up, it starts to look a little chunky. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff I didn't get done. So I was going to do a whole bunch of cleaning. I was going to call Rexall for some medication. Didn't get to that. And yeah, personal development and spirituality. Nope. Didn't happen. And then my daughter has, uh, my daughter has something in her mouth. It's, um, like a, a little sore. And I'm going to try to get her to rinse some salt water. And I'm just reminding myself to keep putting the pink eye drops in my son's eyes. Okay, and that brings us to today. So another list, and I know that I was thinking of some of some task I had to do. And now I don't remember what it was, but I thought about it before bed last night. And then I forgot to add it to my voice memo. Um, but in the meantime, I can cross off plan because I did that this morning. And then I also... I'm filming my plan with me so I can cross those off. But yeah, a really big task list this week or this week today. Today is my big my big task list. So we'll see how much I can get done. Um, and then usually anything from Thursday, if I don't get it done Thursday, it'll trickle over into Friday and it trickles over into Saturday and Sunday. And I just do as much as I can throughout the weekend. That's another thing I wanted to point out. So that yesterday, which was Wednesday, I did work on stickers. And I almost finished, but I was, I like, my mom came over again. So I got sidetracked. So I started working on them again at 11 o'clock last night, like right before 11. I was like, you know what? I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I need to just go to bed. So I'm going to finish that today. I was just doing the background on the second set of stickers. And then I have to do die cuts and the freebie thing. And then once I'm done that, then I will, um, I'm going to post them on Etsy and my website. So we'll do that today. That's one of the tasks I have on here for sure that I need to do. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So the next thing to do is to review goals.
Okay, so for March, personal development. I don't think I've I've accomplished that three times per week. I think I did it. Mm. So I need a better tracking system. I need to be able to remember exactly when I did this, did these things. Um, yeah, I think spirituality, I actually read quite a bit and I started a new book um, and personal development, I only did two. So I didn't quite make my goal. So I can't cross it off um, even on my, my, uh, my card. Um, books, I finished one of my uh, Throne of Glass books. So now I am on the Tower um, Tower of Dawn, which is the second last book in the series. And it's usually a little bit more dry because it doesn't talk about the main character. It kind of dives into a different realm. But I started that one and I also started this one, the Manifestation book. It's by Blair AB and or Blair AB. I don't know how you say it, but I did start it. I'm on page 12. But uh, see, I have a whole bunch of books like this that are really small with like really big writing. And so I feel like if I were to read a whole bunch of these books and they're more spiritual books, but it still counts toward my 100 book goal. If I was to read a whole bunch of books like that, I think I'd probably get like lots read. It's just right now because I decided to, to choose the... Um, Throwing a glass books, they're really, really big, right? So, I feel like that's a really good reason why I haven't been able to read so much because the books I'm going through are really thick. So, I think things are going to get better. Also, Atomic Habits is the first book in Jane's reading list for April, and I did order it. I have read it in the past. Um, I think I ordered it in 2022 and then I got rid of it. Um, and I was like, you know what, should I buy it on Kindle or should I buy the real copy? So I spent the extra like four or $5 and I bought it in hard copy again, because I want to go through, um, Jane said she's read a lot of the books too, but she's going to reread them and we're all going to read them together. So in April, I'm going to start reading that book and that'll also be included in my reading list. So, um, anything else? My birthday is coming up soon. Self-care focus. Oh, I did pick up the dog poop. Um, but I want to keep that, like, I want to start doing it every, I don't know about every day, but maybe every second day or every week at least. Um, but when my son starts going outside, I'll have to do it every day. And it's crazy because, uh, what day was it? The last day it was nice was, uh, Sunday, I think. That was when we had our barbecue. It was like 16, 17 outside and it was beautiful, but it was windy. And when it's windy here in Alberta, it doesn't feel beautiful. It feels cold. And normally it's not actually that windy here. Um, in recent years, probably the last like uh, 10 years or so, I've been finding the wind's been picking up quite a bit um, when it's really, really nice out. So, you know, it'll be like 18, the sun will be out, the snow's gone. But when that wind comes up, it doesn't feel like 18. It feels more like 12 and then it still feels chilly. So, um, yeah, I just, it, it really, ugh, I really get bummed. And I know at the end of March, it's always March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. Um, you know, but we had really nice weather throughout the middle of March and now it snowed again. So it snowed, um, the day before yesterday and it's only like a couple of centimeters, but it just kind of put a damper on my spirits and it's going to be, it's not, it's not freezing, freezing, but I mean, for anybody who's used to warm weather, it's still freezing. It's below zero. Um, I'll show you here. So it's supposed to continue snowing today and tonight and then quit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not going to reach plus zero or like above zero until next Wednesday. Well, Wednesday coming up. It's going to be like hovering at like minus four, minus six, minus two. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that. But um, I thought it would be nice for my birthday. And my birthday is on Saturday. Not this Saturday, so not tomorrow, or day after, not day after tomorrow, but one week from then. So um, if Wednesday's zero, hopefully it'll, you know, get warmer. That would be nice. That would be nice for my birthday. Okay, so yeah, I can't really cross anything off here um, because we'll pretty much wait until the end of the month and then cross it off as we go. Okay, and then we'll go to the month goals. Um, 
um, April marketing plan. I'm still working on it. Um, I did the two sticker sheets just between the background and then I'll, I'll get the die cuts and the freebies done today. And that should be it for March or sorry for March work, but April planning stuff. And then, um, there we go. Cross off a book. <laughs> um, and then April Franklin Covey setup. So it's all going to be next week. So starting, I think I'm going to start that Wednesday because I'm not doing a compact. I'll probably do my compact on a reel on Instagram because I'm not switching the binder over. I'm just switching the month out and planning for the month in that binder, but I'm not, not doing a whole binder switch. So, but this binder is going to switch and I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Um, but I'm going to really enjoy April's setup, I think. Okay. So yeah, so next week, spring break, my birthday, the Rock and Gem show. I didn't buy tickets. I have to see if I need to buy tickets before I go to that because I really want to go to that. Okay, so review compass card now. Let's see what I can cross off. So water, definitely not. <laughs> journal yes sleep actually yes i have definitely gotten more than six hours every single day i have checked it off in my habits spiritual i did but personal development i did not self-care um so i don't have an appointment yet but i want to go get my nails i'm gonna go see if i can get my nails done tomorrow my husband is done work at three so as soon as he comes home i'm gonna go see if i can jet off and go get my nails done i wasn't going to but um, I realized like last night I did my cuticles and once I push my cuticles back, there's a lot more growth that happens, like that actually shows up. So I'm going to see if uh, they can get me in at like three o'clock or three 30 and then I'll go get that done. Um, I'm going to do, I was going to wait for the weekend before my birthday, but the design that I have in mind, it's not really a design. It's just like a pat, like a, a nail color or whatever. Um, it's definitely for Easter spring and I don't want to do that like the weekend of Easter and then have to have wear those same colored nails for like three weeks after that. So if I get them done tomorrow, which is like the day before this video posts, um, I'll have a week before my birthday, the week of my birthday, like after um, the first week of April and then maybe the second week of April. And so mid April, then I can change them again. So yeah, so that's the plan there. Um, Okay, so self-care. So, I mean, I am taking care of my self-care. I've kind of lumped karaoke in there as well because um, even though it's hard on the ears, it's definitely reach, reaches above 90 decibels. I, because my watch warns me all the time, I feel like it's part of my self-care because it lets me get out of the house, away from the kids, um, time to myself. Even, even the drive there or the walk there, if I walk, Kind of clears my head and just lets me have some alone time. And actually, I don't really know. I think it was Monday and Tuesday. The first day that my son went back to school was yesterday, which was a Wednesday. So I, yeah, it was Monday, Tuesday. I woke up early still. It was still like 5.30. I think I woke up. I slept in a little bit. And I really enjoyed my morning sitting alone. I did lots of work Monday and Tuesday morning, like my daily theme task that I have planned for those days. I got that done in the morning and it was nice because I let my kids sleep in a little bit because we didn't have to get up and go to school. And then even yesterday, even though I had to go to school, take my son there, I felt really relaxed in the morning. I, I enjoyed my morning a lot. And sorry, my voice is so scratchy. I don't, I'm having some serious trouble. It's my inhaler. Um, I take Simbacort and I'm always clearing my throat on Simbacort. I feel like I, I wash my mouth out like regularly with that because it's a steroid inhaler. So you have to be really careful. So you wash your, your mouth out. Otherwise you can get thrush. Um, but yeah, my voice is really gravelly today, but I'm, I'm clearing my throat a lot. So that's part of the reason. Um, okay, so Friday I should maybe... I'll find out from my husband when he'll be home. The thing about Friday is that if he gets home at 3.30, we usually just go straight and get takeout. So maybe we'll do that first and then I'll make the appointment for after. But the thing is they're only open till seven and sometimes they shut down at six if they don't have any clients. So, um, and if I made my appointment at four, I might, might, might not be done eating because usually we're back home by four because my husband will get home at 3.30 um, if he gets takeout. Then he probably won't be home till like 
four o'clock. So I'd have to make the appointment for five. So I could see if I could do that. We'll see. I'll have to talk to him about it. And then book list have on hand. I don't have that yet. Okay, so oil changes. We do not have the oil changes done yet, um, but I am waiting. We might potentially get our vehicles um, booked in this time, this weekend, I mean, because I finally got quotes from our mechanic guy and he should be able to do them this weekend, hopefully. Bathtub caulking. I'm just going to cross it off my list because it's not happening anytime soon. Connor's closet, nothing. I never got any of this stuff done. I'm still working on it. I'm still working on my closet and the bathrooms between now and Sunday. Okay, same with this. Haven't done a single thing. And projects, nothing. Nope. And okay, I wrote my blog. I worked on sticker design. I'll still do that today. Lettering, nope. And plan with me week we're doing now and bullet journal April I have not even started it yet and which is kind of hard because uh, I'm running out of time so I think Monday I'll have to make a plan to do it Monday if I have time I'd have to film that video and that's the problem is that it takes a long time um, and I'm gonna do another watercolor painting I think I think it's gonna be pretty easy though I don't think it's gonna be that bad um, that's it so I didn't, I definitely did not rock my compass card this week. I have a lot of X's, a lot of things I didn't do, but I think I put way too much on it, to be fair. I mean, each of these spots is like basically filled up, well, except for the back, but still. I had a lot to do and I hardly did anything. But actually, when I talk about it this week, the past week was really rough too. I don't know what what's wrong with my kids, but they were acting so weird and even my mom recognized it independently of us saying anything. We hadn't even talked about it yet. And she just said one day, she's like, what's wrong with your kids? Like this week, there's something wrong with them. Like they're acting out, they're being weird. And I mean, everybody was getting over being sick. Um, the only ones who didn't get sick, well, I, I didn't get sick completely, but my husband kind of had a runny nose, um, but he never got, and he had a sore throat and a runny nose, but that was it. And it went away and it never progressed. But my kids have all had sore throats and apparently strep throat is going around. I've never had strep throat in my life, so I don't know what, what it's all about. I don't know how you feel, but probably pretty crappy. Um, and I'm pretty sure my kids had it. Like, I think all of them had it because my baby had trouble sleeping, like the beginning of last week. Oh, the weekend. Oh, my God. It was just, it was ridiculous. Like, when I say ridiculous, I mean ridiculous. And my daughter was throwing things and acting out and having temper tantrums. And my son was acting out and having temper tantrums. And it was just a really, really rough week. And so if I do go to karaoke tomorrow night, I feel like I really, really, really deserve it this weekend. But part of me doesn't really want to. I'm so tired that I don't really even want to go anywhere. But we'll see. If I do, I'm not going to do Saturday. I'll just do the one day. It's just been too much lately. Okay, so this is garbage. And uh, I think I'll view the calendar first before I make my new one because I want to be more intentional. I don't want to just be putting tons and tons of stuff on my list because it's just not doable. I'm going to pace myself a little bit more because I get, like, if I don't get things done, then I feel bad about it. And I don't want to make myself feel bad because I'm setting myself up for failure. So I'm going to just be more intentional and not do that to myself. So um, we're going to skip a step and we'll do this after and we'll come back to it. Before we do new rolls and big rocks, we're going to look at the calendar, the master task, and the inbox. So I haven't added anything to the inbox since last time. Oh, except, yeah. So my husband didn't really look at the hot water tank. He turned the hot water up. So I feel like we're running out of hot water. So before we were able to run the dishwasher and have at least two baths before we'd run out of hot water. And now it's happening like as soon as the dishwasher done, is done, we, we don't have, we have, we're out of hot water. So I asked him to check it and he said, well, it shouldn't be completely dead yet. He installed a hot water tank six years ago. So he said, I just need to change or check. I need to either drain it and clean it out or empty it, whatever they do, or something about a drip tube or something. And he hasn't done that yet. So instead he ended up turning the water up. 
I burnt myself multiple times on the day he turned it up. And I said, you need to turn that back down because it's dangerous. Like I would never let my kids be burned. I always check the water before I put them in a bath or whatever, but like it was dangerous for me. And so he turned it back down and then he just never bothered to look at it again. Um, and then we, he had pulled out this plug in the upstairs bathroom sink because it broke. Something happened like a couple years ago. And lately, because my daughter is old enough to get into the sink and turn on the water, she's been dropping stuff down the sink, like constantly, like every day. So I said, we just need to get a plug for that because I'm sick and tired of having to try to, you know, figure out how to get whatever it is that she dropped. And it's usually something that plugs it. <laughs> so he has to do those. I haven't done any planning from the family reunion. I don't even know how to plan for that. I don't know taking three kids in a tent is going to be sufficient. Um, and we don't really have any other option because we can't borrow. I don't think we can borrow um, his his dad's trailer and truck. And I'm not sure if I want to tent it with three kids. Nope. <laughs> I'm just looking at everything. Nope. Nothing yet. Nothing I'm going to change. Like I'm going to carry forward except maybe the oil changes because we're just going to go to Mr. Lube or something like that. So I might add oil changes to the week. Okay, so now let's look at the calendar. So the last week is spring break. It's going to be very difficult for me to wake up because I don't. I know I don't have to go anywhere, so I don't have to drive my son to school, and it's going to be hard. But I'm going to have to still try to get up at five when my husband gets up, so that I can, um, you know, get up and work and do the things. It's just really hard because having my three kids at home during the week with me takes a lot of energy. It's very, very draining. And if I'm tired, I am not going to feel like watching my kids <laughs> and I won't have a choice. So I don't know what to do. Um, the answer is get more sleep, but that never happens because I'm working from five to like seven thirty or five to eight in the morning. And then I work again from like 8 PM or as soon as my kids go to bed, which lately has been like 10 working from like 10 to 11 and then falling into bed dead tired. So I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but I know I do know I've definitely been tired. I could go to bed at midnight before and wake up at 4.35, no problem, and I'd be fine. And I know like most people can't do that. Most people need at least eight hours of sleep, but I used to be able to do that and it was fine. And now I can't. I'm definitely feeling the pinch and I just need more sleep. Okay. So the end of the week is the Rock and Gem show. So I need to see if we need tickets or if I can just buy tickets when I get there and goal review. So that's important to me. I've got goal review in three places in my power sheets, in this planner and in my work planner. And then my birthday is on the 30th. And we were playing with the idea of going to Red Deer for that weekend because it is a long weekend. My husband doesn't know if he has Good Friday off or Easter Monday. The work, his work hasn't told him yet. Um, but he will have the long weekend off because they don't currently work weekends. And um, and, it, and they will. They're going to pick up when it gets warmer out because right now the ground is frozen and they need to get underground. But he hasn't yet. And so we were like, okay, it's a long weekend. Should we go to Red Deer? And the answer is going to be no because it's my birthday. So, you know, my mom wants to be able to see me. And we're going to go to karaoke Saturday night. She's going to babysit that day for me for night like that night we might go out to dinner if we have enough money and sunday is easter so we're going to do like an easter hunt um here at the house for the kids and then we might be going to mundare for chad's family's easter get together and then the kids have another easter hunt and then we get home really really late so that's the only thing um i think my son still has yeah it's sunday um i think he still has monday off um, I'll just look here. I think he doesn't. Yeah, he does. He doesn't go back until the second. So he would go back on Tuesday. Um, so he'd have Monday off so the kids can sleep in Monday, but my husband would have to probably go to work if he doesn't have it off. So that's the only thing about going to Mondaire because it takes an hour to get there. And by the time we get everything and pack up and leave, it's already like seven, eight o'clock and it kind of messes up my baby messes up his entire schedule. So we'll see how it goes. We might not even bother going. Um, it's just, it's more work than it's worth. Honestly, it really is with three kids. It's so much work. Okay. So 
Um, master task list. Let's see. I really do need to book the dentist appointments. I've been talking about it forever and I haven't touched it. I also need to book the x-rays. That actually has to be done pronto because we have a CF appointment for my son on the 24th of April and we need to get that done before that appointment. And um, I need to get a, a, a picture of the x-ray of his chest. And yeah, um, garden planning. Oh, I can cross off one because I did the garden planning. I'll show you guys actually. I'm excited about it. I wanted to make some notes and stuff about when to plant stuff because I'm going to start planting stuff inside, but I haven't done that yet. Um, I'm, I know I want to do my peppers inside. So I did a, a long-term goal sheet. So I've got phase one, planning and budget, phase two, prep and buy, and then phase three is planting and continuing care. And then I wrote out some notes of all the things I need to do. And then this is a picture of my backyard, kind of a rough picture. Um, so I'll see if I can show you. This is like the side by the fence. This is the side of my house in the backyard. So I'm going to have um, peas, cucumbers, and beans, because those are the things we like to eat. I'm going to have peppers on one corner of this area. I'm going to have a rose bush and a peony bush. And then I'm going to have a pot. I hang pots on the end of the garage. I have a pot in our center display area on our cement pad. And then I'm going to get a tomato um, plant, a cup, maybe a couple. We'll see. Okay, and then um, that's the tomato in the pot. And then I'm going to have the two hangers. Um, on the garage. I have two large decorative pots on my by my porch. Beside this side of the porch, I'm going to have gladiolas. This side, I'm going to have a tropical area. So if I can find hibiscus, I'll have hibiscus here um, and calla lilies and maybe dahlias. I know they're not tropical, but that's what's going to happen. And also over here where the rose bush and the peony bush are, um, all along this area, I have three hangers on our fence. And those are going to be hibiscus, or sorry, not hibiscus, um, fuchsias. I have fuchsias there because so they grow fantastic. Like they're, they bloom all year long and they get the perfect amount of shade and light. So those are my hibiscus ones. I'll just put H for hibiscus. So I remind myself because I almost forgot. Okay, so yeah, so then... We'll have gladiolas, tropical area, and then right here, I put a seasonal flower. So last year I did marigolds and lavender, and I alternated them, and that looks really pretty. But we'll see what else I can find. It, it kind of depends on the season, the growing season, um, where the the places I go. I usually go to Walmart, I go to Lowe's, I go to Home Depot. Um, it depends what they have available. So if they've got, um, I think one year, I just did marigolds, and then one year I did, like last year I did, marigolds and lavender and one year I did oh what are those flowers not peonies and they came back the next year too they were really pretty the um purple and yellow flowers you guys are probably going to know what I'm talking about but I can't think of it right off the top of my head okay so I made the two the two um pictures and then that was Connor's party so yeah so anyway I planned out my garden so I know what I'm going to do but now I just need to check with the growing season see what's better to plant inside first I know it's going to be peppers and I don't know about the other ones. Like flowers are okay because I just buy flowers when they come. But the gladiolas might not grow this year. That's the only thing. Because I'm going to probably plant them from a bulb. I'm thinking. Okay. So going back to my monthly task list. Um, everything for personal, that was it. And then for work. I didn't do anything, everything that was crossed off here. So I crossed off stickers and then today I'll work on the die cuts and the freebies and that's it. So I haven't really crossed off anything else. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to get those x-rays. I want, I really want to do the dentist and the x-rays because dentist is just cleaning for me and my daughter and my husband can make his own. Um, he would have to do his on like a Friday afternoon or something because he gets off early work Friday but not this Friday. <laughs> Maybe next Friday he could. That might work. I'll have to ask him if he can make an appointment. Okay, maybe I'll write that down. Hold on. Let's see, I gotta go find my page because I took my page finder out. 
Today is the 21st. Today is my lucky day. Okay. Oh, no, that's Good Friday. I bet you it'll be closed. Chad appointment. So if it's me and my daughter that go on like, during the week, I can get my mom to babysit um, my son. So I'll send my older son to school um, if, as long as it's not spring break week. Send my older son to school and then she can come here and watch my baby. And then me and my daughter will go and get her teeth done. She's a really good girl when it comes to the dentist because she's all about the toy. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it for reviewing all that stuff. I'll probably refer to the master task list again. There's nothing on the inbox except oil changes, but I'll look at the master task and I'll look at the calendar and I'm just going to reduce my schedule. I don't want it to look like this. I don't want it. I don't want that. Um, it kind of bugs me actually. So I'm going to go into the new rolls and big rocks. We'll quickly do that. And I think next month, this will be the last week I use one of these. Next month, I'm going to go back and use my um, my actual compass cards again because these are starting to, to to bug me, and I don't know why they're bugging me. They just they just are. <laughs> I'm getting one of those planner funks again. I need to switch things up, and that's how I do it. I just sw simply switch the the card I'm using, or I switch the the method how I do something, and then I stick with my planner. Okay, so. I'm a little sad because this is the last month I'll be using these pretty stickers. This is my favorite color. I love it. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite in the world. Okay, so I'm going to go make this and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so um, what I did, it still looks really busy and it's going to be because I realized I had to do all of these things. I have let the house stuff slip this past week. Ideally, I would have done everything this week and I didn't. I didn't do it because I was too tired. I I was like, mentally exhausted. I was wiped um, and all I wanted to do was sleep and I couldn't focus. I couldn't concentrate. So. Um, I'm going to do all of these things. If I get some of this done on the weekend, that would be good because it, like the way I plan, ideally I would plan Sunday and post the video for Monday or post it Sunday as soon as I'm done filming and editing. But because I have kids that never works out for me, I wouldn't have the video done till Wednesday. So um, I always film Thursday and then post it for Saturday. So I have time to edit it and do all the things I need to do in between. And that's why. So when I go to do this, because it still technically goes till Saturday or Sunday night, and I'm making my compass card for Thursday, I just put all the stuff I didn't do on the new compass card. And then this technically goes from like Thursday to Thursday, if that makes sense, or Thursday to Wednesday. So it's a little messed up in how I do things, but it works for me. And this is garbage. And I'm going to cross. I want to get rid of this because this is depressing. 
I know I t- we talk about giving each other grace or giving ourselves grace when it comes to not getting our stuff done. There are times when I do have down weeks and I don't feel like doing a single thing, you know, it, it just happens. And then eventually I know, I know this stuff will get done and this stuff isn't like time commitment pressing, but it would be nice to have it done. I mean, the bathrooms really need to be cleaned. <laughs> they should be cleaned every week and I missed a week. So yeah, they're really grody now, really grubby. Um, but yeah, and I've been letting stuff cl- like pile up and it is frustrating for me because nobody else deals with this stuff. So, you know, my kids will leave stuff on the microwave, on top of the microwave. And then the only one who picks it up is me. So if I don't do it, it doesn't get done. And then it's frustrating because I'm still trying to do my business stuff. And yeah, it's, it, it is it's super frustrating. And sometimes I just want to give up and be like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to touch anything. Like let them suffer. <laughs> they can go to the bathroom in the dirty bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> they can go have a bath in there. Um, yeah, I just, there's parts of me that are like, I, w- I just want to give up and just say, whatever, I don't care. But then the part of me that does care, I'm like, nope, it's got to be cleaned. So yeah, this stuff, I mean, I feel like I'm always tackling it on my own. But I should be able to get the cleaning stuff, like the clear stairs, clear table, clear Barbie toys. I'll try to do that today. We'll we'll see how it goes. Today is going to be a busy, busy day. And usually Thursdays for me, I'm like more like, okay, it's the end of the week. I don't want to do anything. I don't feel like it. Um, But yeah, it's going to be picking up a little bit. So um, family stuff. Oh, you know what? I need to put the Rock and Gem show on here. Anyway, there we go. Done. (laughs) Okay, so that's done. So next thing to do is to plan the week and then we'll go into my work week. So as per usual, I will fast forward through this part. If you guys have any questions or anything about my process or what I do, just leave it down below and I will be sure to answer you as soon as I can. And I've got to figure out what we're going to be eating for meals. I'm I'm struggling with this. I really am because I, like this week I had planned broccoli, like rice, broccoli, and beef stir fry, and I was supposed to make it yesterday, and I didn't feel like cooking. So we ended up having McDonald's, which is gross, but we still eat it. And um, yeah, it wasn't the healthiest. Rice and broccoli and, and beef would have been a lot healthier, but didn't happen. I think my son is up. Oh dear. Anyway, we're going to plan as much as we can before he gets up. We'll see you in a bit. When we are together, you're afraid to hold my hand. Trying to understand. What if this doesn't go as planned?
from the sky But I'm not worried I know I will end up dry How for me, how for you Let's just wait and enjoy the view What if our touch, reason enough on our journey How for you, how for me Let's just wait and we'll be free Need to stay tough, we don't need much on our journey Cause we are, we're the original Just can't win. What about we try and get it right? I don't wanna end up where all we have just disappears. Come on, let's at least give it a try. Tears are falling from the sky, but I'm not. Just wait, enjoy the view What if our touch reason enough on our journey? You're more than my name. I wanna float on downstream, go and find my wild dreams. Yeah, I'd kill to feel it all shake. You like a twisted mind game. I'll be burned by your flame. Oh. Ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice, burn gasoline. You know I love it. You know I love it. All right, guys, so we're just in time. It is 7.24. I've got six minutes before I need to wake up my kids, so this is perfect. So first of all, I wanted to bring your attention to my planner cover. This was a spring release from Jane's Agenda, and I did get it the other day, and I thought it just looked so beautiful with my butterfly cover in here. And um, it, you know what? It comes out so easily. Like, it's literally like it slides in and out. So nice. And this is such a pretty fit. Um, and I think personally, I think either this one or the the white or the cream color would have worked well. Um, I just chose this color because I prefer color and not, not neutral stuff. And um, I did get some dashboards to go along with it. I just haven't punched them yet to go in this planner, but um, that can easily be arranged. All you have to do is put them underneath and then they look fantastic. So, um, Anyway, I've also 
I added some dividers. So you'll see here that I've added, I've, I've got January, February at the back. So when I start getting new um, weekly inserts, I can put them in those. But for now, I've got March to December here, and I just put all of my weekly inserts, my monthlies and my weeklies in here. And so as you'll recall, I don't have dailies in my work planner because I use my Franklin for my dailies, which is kind of like my catch-all planner. I don't want to be referring to two different planners every single day, um, multiple times a day. I just want to look at one. So this planner, um, I will reference it throughout the day, especially if I'm working on stickers or my blog or a custom order, or um, if I need to check dates and something on my monthly calendar. But for the most part, I plan on this once a week, and then I just pull it out to reference. Um, and, and I guess it's not generally like I do the monthly planning so I like do my content schedule as you can see here for April I've already started um, planning and I do have my content schedule filled out so April is good to go I just um yeah this this planner I'm I'm very happy with it right now and for the longest time I think it took me it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do and I know for a fact that I cannot have my work and my home and my personal and school stuff, everything, all the things, I can't have it in one planner. So my work planner is bulked up. I mean, I've got a lot of blog stuff in here, a lot of calendar stuff, a lot of admin stuff, like um, statistics and stuff. So I don't have room for that in my Franklin and I don't want to damage, um, you know, I don't want to damage that. So like this section right here alone could, could encompass an entire planner. And this is just my statistics and my finances, which is a lot. <laughs> and then of course, this is the schedule. So this entire thing right up to here. Okay. And then the rest of it is between my sticker shop, my blog and notes and like brain dump and stuff that could also be an entire other planner. So um, this thing is so full and the only way I can make it less full is by taking out some of the weeklies and the monthlies. Um, but yeah, so what I do is I use, I use both of these. I can't remember the numbers of them. Um, but this is the colored monthly from Jane's agenda. So first you have a dashboard, which I really like, and then you've got the calendar. Okay. Which is in color. And then you've got, um, the project task list on the back, which is also really nice. And then I don't remember the weekly number again, but I got the one um, it, on this page. It's the schedule. And then this page is like a dashboard. So I like those dashboard type feels. Uh, just something that I've, I've noticed about myself. So anyway, that is my work planner. And if we go back to the date here um, that I planned for, it, this upcoming week is going to be a really busy filming week. So I canceled sticker design. That's why this week was so important to get it all done. So I'm going to work on that again today. But um, Monday and Tuesday are probably my quietest days. Monday is still going to be a journaling day and transferring over my uh, my blog. So normally, like what I was planning on doing was filming my bullet journal video Monday. But I think what I'll do is I'll wake up early tomorrow. Uh, which is Friday, the day before this video posts. And I am going to film my bullet journal video tomorrow. I already wrote it in my planner. And that's simply because I can get a head start. I can edit the video over the weekend. It's not going to be extremely long. I'm just going to do some of my health tracking in there. Um, before I had like, um, you know, doodle a day, I had um, lettering a day. And I just, I'd never had time for it. Like my morning routine is already so filled with journaling and stuff that it takes a big chunk of my day and then I never get any work done. So I am canceling all of that and I'm just using my bullet journal for tracking um, my health and my habits, my self-care, all of that stuff. It's just pretty much a, a glorified tracker with a really pretty monthly cover. <laughs> um, but I'm going to film that Friday. So then I'll be able to post it and that one will be another video out of the way. So for example, I already have my goal video up and I'll have my bullet journal video up, which is here. I've got my makeup videos up. Um, the, the next one is the Thursday. So if I post another one, I might just go straight to Monday. Um, I'll probably have two videos because I'm going to have one for Friday. Well, I'll have one for this weekend. Um, I'm going out Friday, I think. So I'll have one for Friday 
and then I'll have one for this Friday and one for Saturday. So I've been kind of, because I've been increasing my, my filming schedule, I'm also increasing my posting schedule because I'm, I still want my makeup videos current and relevant. And Sephora is going to be coming out with a Rouge VIP, VIB sale right away. So I want to make sure that I'm more current when it comes to posting that video. So yeah, um, really busy week. I'm going to be posting... I'll start filming Wednesday, but I'm going to be posting my makeup look on Thursday, my bullet journal video on Thursday, Friday is my goal video, Saturday is my monthly setup for April, and then Sunday is my classic. And then for my compact, I'll just have a reel, and then I'll also do a flip through of this, um, not this planner, but my main, my, my catch-all Franklin, okay? So then I've just added some of the tasks I can cross off here, and I need to order a few things for May. And then I just have epidemic sound coming out. But yeah, basically it's a huge filming week. And then I also have a goal review for the 30th or the 31st. I might very well do that on Monday though, because um, after this, I might be too tired to do anything. And remember, not only is it my birthday, so Friday, Saturday, I'm going to celebrate birthday. Friday, I'm thinking I'll go to West Ed and go to the Rock and Gem show. My husband might be off this Friday, and so we'll have more time. We'll go to West Edmonton Mall, go to the Rock and Gem Show, maybe have dinner. I'll see if my mom wants to come. And then um, I think that would be really nice. And then um, Saturday, uh, maybe swimming. Haven't decided yet, but I'm hoping we'll go, be able to go swimming. And then Saturday night, we'll go to karaoke. My mom will sleep over, um, sleep over into Sunday. And then Sunday, we're going to go to Mondaire for Easter. And then also Sunday morning, have an Easter hunt for my kids. Okay. And then I have to prepare. So Monday will be a big day, which is nice because Monday will be completely free and clear. Um, all my filming will be done. All my posting will be done. And I just have to, and even like watching all the videos will be done. I'll just have a makeup Monday video and that's it. And I can do my budget clothes, my analytics, statistics, um, financials. And then maybe I'll just do my goal review on Monday. I think that's a good plan. Okay, so that's it for my work plans, which, you know what? It's busy enough. Like, that's going to be a busy week for me, especially with the kids being home. Okay, then my classic setup. And this one I'm actually really enjoying. <laughs> I'm really, I think this is um, probably my favorite setup this month because of the washi and the planner. So, one of my focuses for this week is books. I want to read, which I mean, I mean, I'm already going to be busy, right? Like I've got lots of cleaning stuff to do. Um, if you look at my compass card again, right? Like all the cleaning stuff. I've got a book, the dentist, the x-ray. I don't even know if, if I should wait till maybe the week after to do those things because we're going to be so busy during the week. Um, but remember a lot of this filming that I'll do will be at five in the morning. So by the time I go to do these x-rays or the dentist appointment, it's going to be later in the day. Um, but anyway, it's still going to be a busy, a very, very busy week, but I want to make sure I drink water. I really want to focus, even if it's just one week, I want to do the three bottles of water every day. Um, and I want to finish my books and I want to do self-care. I will be doing my nails tomorrow, so that won't be included in this, but you know, like, I think it's going to still look cute, um, but I want to focus on spirituality, self-care, personal development, and water. And the only thing I forgot to do and write on here was that I will be um, watching Jane's Agenda. So hold on, Jane's Agenda, live at 9 a.m. So Jane has her, this isn't going to be the first master plan class. That will be um, the first. So on the Monday, it's also going to be busy. Um, hold on, note. Monday, April 1st. Budget close. masterclass. Okay. So I just wanted to make a note for myself there because that stuff is going to happen on the Monday. Oh, and then also goal review. So yeah, so April 1st will be the first 
um, the first day of the, the class, the um, personal development course I'll be taking with Jane's agenda there. And I'm excited for that. And I'll do my goal review the same day. So Monday's still going to be busy, but it's kind of like wrapping up, you know, the month of March, which I still can't believe is almost over. Like I'm, I'm just baffled at how fast time goes. Um, okay. So anyway, I'm really liking how it looks. And honestly, this week wasn't supposed to be that busy. <laughs> but it looks crazy busy. And I wrote my books in here that I want to read. So the Tower of Dawn, Moon Magic, and the Manifestation book. I want to get those done. So I just started them. I'll maybe be able to get a good chunk done. It's only Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, good chunk done before the week starts. And then I'll be able to read. Um, and then as of April 1st, I'll be starting um, Atomic Habits. So, all right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I know it's busy. I know things are crazy. Um, but again, the beginning of April will be a little bit toned down because I won't have as much stuff to do. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new or have not yet subscribed, please do, do so. I would love to have you join my channel. Click on the bell button to receive notifications when I upload new videos and content. And I will see you guys again next week with all of the videos. <laughs> Bye guys.